Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I filmed. Please excuse the mess behind me. Um, I'm not able to film where I usually film from in here, but I am really excited to be doing my BoxyCharm for October. For those of you that don't know, BoxyCharm is a $21 a month subscription service and it is four to five full or deluxe size products. Now I say deluxe size because last month we got a hair mask that was the travel size and it's still a really good value and it's they're more than sample sizes but occasionally there's a travel size product in there which still is not bad um the theme this month is spellbound and i did peek inside this box when i opened it um, just because i was curious um, the first product I'll start with is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. Now I'm really excited to get this. Uh, we got the black one several months ago and I'm almost out and that one is an $80 exfoliant. So I was really excited to see that they were going to be doing another um, Dr. Brandt product. Let's see, this is for all skin types, pore perfecting exfoliator. Let's see, you slowly and gently massage cream for one minute, allow one to two minutes to activate, so you'll just let it sit on your face. And deep, clean pores, rinse well, pat dry, use one to two times a week. So this one's a little bit different than the black one, but the black one works really, really well, and I'm not somebody that's gonna spend $80 on a face product. So yeah, this is really nice. And this one retails for $58. So again, really happy to have this. <laughs> Probably not go out and buy this, but this is a really good brand. Um, so I'm excited to try this one. The next thing in here I'm super, super excited about. It is a product from Becca. Becca is known for their highlighters. I have never personally bought anything from Becca just because excuse me, like their highlighters, this retails for $38. I'm not going to spend $38 on a highlighter typically. Um, so I'm really excited. This, I got the pressed highlighter and this is in Prosecco Pop. Now Prosecco Pop was a limited edition, um, collaboration with Jacqueline Hill, who is a very famous YouTuber. If you're not familiar, um, and I think they made this permanent. I'm not real sure. It's a really pretty, there's a plastic thingy in here, gold highlight. Like I said, I don't have anything from Becca. The other option um, was you either were going to get the pressed highlight or the liquid highlight. And I think the liquid um, retailed for 40 so it was valued a little bit higher. And the liquid you could mix, you could do under foundation, you could mix it into foundation, you could pat it for highlight. So the liquid's very versatile. Um, I don't personally use a lot of liquid highlights. I have one that we got in a box by another brand. So there it is right there. I don't think it'll be too light. I have a yellow undertone. I'm warm tone, so I have yellow undertone. Um, this color could be too dark if you've got a pink undertone and you're fairer than I am, but I think this will work super pretty. I'm just curious if it smells because like I said, I've never used anything from Becca, so it doesn't really smell like anything. I, uh, I'm always curious what makeup smells like, but yeah, there it is again. Really pretty. Again, this retails for... $38. It's best-selling creamy highlighter powder that will light up the features you love with a high shine finish. So very, very nice. Very excited to have that. Okay, so we're off to a really good start. The next thing is a lip liner by Jean Bleu. Maybe how you pronounce that. Not a hundred percent. This retails for five dollars, and mine is in the shade nine fifty five spice. It's a really 
it's a wooden lip liner. I don't mind these. These are a little bit sometimes easier um, to get a point. Mine's a nice like nudie brown color. There it is on the skin. I'm actually going to do this a little bit thicker to test well, the next product. And again, this retails for $5. I don't have a ton of lip liners, so this is nice. I'm not mad at this. And again, this retails for $5. And then we got something from Tarte this month, and this is the Tartiest Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint, and this retails for $20. Full coverage, transfer proof, liquid lipstick with a quick dry matte finish. And I got the shade Salty. There was, I think, eight different colors that you could get. This is very nude. This isn't the nudest one, I don't think, but I'm not real sure. This is one of those, if it was much lighter, I might not be able to wear it. I did the lip liner a little bit thicker. So there's the lip paint by itself. There's it on top of the lip liner and there's the lip liner. So it darkened it up. I think I can wear that maybe. This is one of those that it could be a teeny bit like We'll try it out. Foundation looking for me. Um, it's very light. So there it is by itself. It's very nude. But I think under this lip liner and I have some lip a lip liner that's like a very deep berry color I think I can make this work I probably won't wear it by itself just because I look like I have a little bit of foundation lips but I can make this work with a darker lip liner or mixed in um, with a different color so I'm not mad at that I can make it work and then the last thing I got was by Dirty Little Secrets and I have a liquid lipstick that I got from them. It's uh, very like fire engine red, mini mouse packaging. And this is an eyeshadow chubby. This retails for $14. This creamy consistency allows you to use it alone as an eyeshadow or as an eyeshadow base. And this is in the shade um, Illusion. So there it is right there. It's a really pretty like champagne-y pink color. So that's it right there. I think that's pretty. It is creamy, so I think a layering um, eyeshadow on top of it, but it is like it's shimmery enough. You could definitely put a crease color in and just wear this all over the lid. So again, there it is right there. So that's nice. And again, this retails for $14. So overall a good box. Um, I probably would have preferred to get a different lip color, but like I said, I have some darker lip liners and I think even under this one, I think it'll be fine. I can make it work. So yeah, that was everything that I got in this month's box. Um, let me know what you guys thought. I used to do the unboxings where I would unbox the current month and then review the last, the previous month's box. So let me know if anybody would like me to do that again, because you never really know how well like people like products. So I can definitely start doing that again if anybody's interested in seeing that. If not, I'll just do straight unboxings from now on like this. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.